Hey guys, it's Michael from Account Beans. The purpose of this playlist is to help you, the small business owner, do your own bookkeeping in zero. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, so we've got our transaction here from Fast and Loose. We have a $1,000 deposit, and then we have a final invoice payment for $9,000. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to select the right chart of accounts code for the deposits, how to reconcile the deposit, and how to do the final invoice and apply the deposit. So let's dive in. Hey guys, now I'm gonna show you how we set up the chart of accounts code for customer deposits prepayments. Click on the top arrow, click on settings, scroll down to advanced settings, click on chart of accounts, and then you're just gonna click on add account there on the left. Now I'll show you what we've set up already. We've named it Customer Deposits Prepayments. It's a current liability account because this is money that you received from your customers that if the job doesn't go ahead, you'll have to refund back to them. So it's actually a liability while it's sitting there. The account codes we've used in the 900s. You can use whatever codes suit your system. It's BAS excluded for the tax rate and click show on dashboard watch list so you can monitor this ledger. Okay, now that we've set that up, you can see here on our watch list here, we have a zero balance at the moment for our customer deposit prepayments. And then we'll show you how that changes as we do the next step. Okay guys, now we're gonna show you how to reconcile this first $1,000 deposit. So first step, click on find and match. Scroll down, click on new, receive money. It's a prepayment. Select your customer's name, which is fast and loose in our example. The account code is the one we just set up, customer deposits prepayments. Tax rate will default to BAS excluded, which is correct. Then what you wanna do is click save and reconcile. We've now reconciled the deposit. Now if I show you how that affects the balance, okay, you can see now that we have a thousand dollar balance here in our custom deposits prepayments account. That means that at the moment, $1,000 is sitting there as a liability. If the job doesn't go ahead, we'll have to refund that. And at that point, when we refund it, it would offset it. But in this example, we're gonna show you how you apply the custom deposit to a final invoice. All right, as you can see, we've got our customer fast and loose. It's a $10,000 advertising job. We've coded it to 200 sales, GST on income in our example, and that's the normal invoice. Now what we wanna do is apply the deposit. So we click down here, to get into this section, you go into business, sales overview, awaiting payment. Search for your customer name, click on the deposit. Now you get two options here, you can apply it to an invoice by going to the top here and going allocate credit, or if the job fell through, you can come down the bottom here, click on the date you're gonna refund it, what bank you're refunding it from, and click add refund. And then go into your internet banking and transfer the refund to the client. In this example, the job went through, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna allocate the $1,000, like so. Now we can see that that's been all done. Let's click on the link down here to go to the invoice. Perfect, now we have an invoice for the total contract value of 10 grand with a $1,000 deposit already applied and $9,000 due. Now I'm gonna show you how that affects our balance. I'll refresh our screen here. Okay, as you can see here, the year to date balance now is zero. What that means is that we've successfully allocated that final payment of $1,000, so that ledger is now clear. It's gone in and then it's gone out. Okay guys, I just wanted to briefly show you the deposits account. Originally when we raised the deposit, we had a liability for $1,000. We then successfully finished the job and we applied $1,000 to the invoice. And as you can see here, 1,000 in, 1,000 out, the running balance is now zero. So that has been netted off. So we call that like a clearing account. Now we're gonna show you how to reconcile the final nine grand. Okay guys, as we mentioned before, we've done the final, we've already created the deposit, 
We have applied it to our final invoice. The customer's now paid us the balance. All we need to do is come in here, find that invoice and apply the customer $9,000 payment to the invoice like so. And that's it guys, from start to finish, how we deal with customer deposits. We hope this was helpful. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this playlist. If your business is growing and you're finding it's too difficult to do your own bookkeeping, it's time to call an accountant. We'll leave our website in the link in the description below and we'll have a chat and see if we can help you out.